Hi, it's Evan with TexasFirearms.net. SKS Slam Fire Revisited. Now in that last video, SKS Slam Fire, we assumed that it was the firing pin because the firing pin was sticking, as you saw in the video. But, you know what they say about assume? That was not the issue. We, pulled the, we put the firing pin in and kept firing it. It still kept doubling and tripling, so we pulled it apart. And what we found was, is the sear, I'll put a picture on the inset. Somebody had did a sear job and totally botched it. This gun was so unsafe to shoot. We bought it from a gun shop. Guy had sold it to them with a homemade trigger job that was definitely dangerous. So we put a new one in there, and it runs like a champ. So if you don't know what you're doing, doing trigger jobs, or working on guns, period, don't jack with it. Let somebody that knows what they're doing take care of it. This is Evan from Texas Firearms. Don't do this to your gun. That's just bad. We have Frank here with his SKS. He had, to, if you remember right, in the SKS Slam Fire video, he had an issue with it. and We uh, replaced the firing pin, which was sticking, with a Murray's firing pin, but it kept firing full auto. So we pulled it apart and found out that somebody had monkey with the sear trying to do a trigger job and botched it big time. So we put a new sear in there. We're going to shoot it and see if it works. Fire away, Frank. So far, so good. No good, no full auto. You are legal. <laughs> I'd say it's fixed, huh? Fixed. Of course, it'll take a few hundred rounds to make sure, but I'd say it's fixed. All right, this is Evan from TexasFirearms.net. Shoot straight, be safe.